Hey, it's Mike here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a video called Six Side Hustles I've Done to Make $100 Per Day from a channel called Andre Zik, and I actually subscribe to him. He uh, combines both finance and magic. It's a really different kind of take on finance, and I highly recommend him. So I'll have a link to him in the description below if you guys wanna check him out. Uh, yeah, so I'm interested. He's uh, legitimate, and he puts out really good content. I'm interested to see what his six side hustles are, especially for making $100 a day. I like making a little bit of extra income on the side. So I'm gonna give a like on his video if you guys can like this video as well it really does help out with my youtube channel and i really appreciate it so smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and bell notification let's jump into it in today's video i want to teach you my top six easy side hustles you can use to make over a hundred dollars per day starting with side hustle number one learn how to do magic and cardistry wait a minute that's that sounds like a little bit hard these are called isolations sound effects not included but here's another favorite one these are called card twirls coming up right here. They're really fun. And then of course we get the under pressure, which a lot of people like, but the point is, if I really want to interject really quick and just say that when you're looking, like if you want to do a YouTube channel or you want to do some like a blog or whatever online, look at what your superpower is. His superpower, his thing that makes him different is the fact that he can do magic. And it's a big superpower for him. But if you've got something that makes you different, you've got some kind of a, a viewpoint, some experience, uh, things that come off the like, top of my head. If you've been in the military, uh, that's something that could really be uh, something that you could talk about with people and they re would relate to. If you're older and you've been through different times and you're in the midst of uh, going through retirement or you've retired already, uh, if you're younger, uh, just so many different things can be your superpower. Um, what's my superpower? I guess it's just the fact that I'm willing to do uh, all the work that I need to do in order to support my family. So I will, I talk about that. I talk about multiple forms of income. So yeah, just wanted to interject there. If you can practice that for 20 years, you'll make exactly zero dollars half kidding now according to upwork and the freelancers union their data shows that only 36 percent of americans had a side hustle in the year 2020 and that number went up to 45 percent by 2022. Now, i think that might be also based on the fact that there's so many different opportunities now for people to do kind of just on the side as a hobby and i think a lot more people are getting into making money online than they used to in, in the past the average freelancer will spend roughly 13 hours per week on their side hustle but only one out of four of them will be lucky enough to make more than $500 a month and only one out of 10 will make more than $1,000 a month. But what's crazy is data estimates by the year 2027, freelancers and side hustlers will make up the majority of the US workforce. I don't know about that. The majority of the workforce, I think it's gonna go up, but not the majority. Unless the AI robots get to us before then when they realize humans are just a virus to the earth, proving once and for all the singularity was the biggest threat to humanity, but maybe none of this matters because we don't live in base reality. Maybe this is just one big simulation, a video game where Bitcoin was created by AI because no one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is and what if it's a financial incentive for our computers to be perpetually plugged into the internet? It's a way for the machines to use our own greed against us so they could become a mortal and enslave us forever or maybe maybe not maybe it's something else either way i want to share with you my favorite side hustles so let's get right into it Hi, my name is Andre Jick. Hope you're doing well. Come for the finance and stay for the Rick and Morty episode of Side Hustles. So side hustle number one, start a YouTube channel and make videos about how to make side hustles. You really could do that. Like so many videos on there and they make a lot of money per ads. Like the, the ads pay a lot of money. Talk about side hustles. Talk about other people's side hustles. Talk about uh, like interview people about side hustles. It's a huge niche. Boom. Meta. But one of my favorite side hustles is to start an Airbnb and to live rent free. This is where you can rent out your entire house or a bedroom of your house to a stranger. Now I know that's... I don't know if I want to do that. Do I really want to have someone in my house? If I needed the money, then perhaps. Sounds terrifying, especially if you watched episodes of you, but this is a really great way to meet strangers and make some income. And the more beds and the more rooms you have, the more money you can expect to make. In 2021, Airbnb had 300 million bookings, which was an increase of 55% over 2020. Well, it makes sense because, I mean, we were in the middle of a pandemic then. And the average Airbnb host can expect to make $924 per month. That is three times more than the average gig economy worker from Uber, Lyft, or DoorDash. Now, the downside to Airbnb is that you have to have a house or an apartment. You don't have to own it. You can rent and sublease, but you need permission from your landlord. This is actually something I used to do, and I was making between $900 to $1,200 per month, which was just enough to live rent-free and do other side hustles. That's pretty cool. I mean, it could give you the freedom 
to be able to focus on something else while you're getting your other business together. I've made a couple more detailed videos about this topic, including with my friend Tyus, who converted his garage to an Airbnb and he automated the entire thing. He never has to see or talk to his guests. He never has to check them in. He doesn't even have to clean after them because he hires someone to do it for him. And he just converted a second bedroom of his house to an automated Airbnb. And right now he's making anywhere between two and a half to $3,000 per month. Side hustle number two, shake up the real estate market. Have you seen what some of the photos look like jesus christ none of these are going to sell anyone a house now as a i have seen some pretty bad houses on these real estate websites i'm actually looking at houses right now and there's some of them that are just horrible most of them are good but some of them those people need help. Way to stand out, you can offer 360 degree virtual tours mm -hmm. inside of your marketing package. The National Association of Realtors says prospective buyers who contact an agent after taking an online virtual tour are far more likely to be serious about buying the property. But hold on a minute, don't all real estate agents take their own photos for their own houses? No, according to the NAR, over 50% of real estate agents will outsource their photography to someone else. And that someone else can be you, and mm -hmm. you can charge them an average price of $200 for your 360 degree virtual tour. But I mean, they're making huge commissions on these real estate deals. So I could see them easily paying something like that for it. And by the way, uh, like I said, I'm currently looking at houses and when there's a like a video tour or a 360 tour, it makes it so much easier to decide if that is a place that I would be interested or not. And that, like they said, that lead is going to be much more interested when they call. And it's going to be like they're going to know much more like if they if they really want it or not. So that's a great way of helping people and making money. But that's not all. Because if you can include that tour plus photos of the house in your marketing package, that can sell between $340 to $475. Now, all in all, you're going to spend roughly four to five hours between travel traveling to the property, taking the photos, processing them, but that still works out to be roughly $100 per hour on the high end. Side hustle number three, instead of trying drop shipping or buying things off Alibaba and waiting for them to never arrive, skip the headache and just get a part-time job. I highly recommend Fiverr and TaskRabbit. If Fiverr's great. I've made money on Fiverr. I've made, I had a couple months that I made like 500 bucks rewriting articles for people. It's a great opportunity. If you're someone that's never made any money online, do Fiverr gigs, you can make money. If you have a special skill or you can lend out your time, you'll make money. But what if I don't have a skill? If you don't have one, get one. And even if you don't have a special skill, you can help with anything from helping with assembling furniture, minor home repairs, cleaning their house, helping them move, or even helping them mount their picture frames. You can even help them plan their special events, birthday parties, wrap their gifts, organize their closets, or even wait in line for someone to get their concert tickets. Yeah, that's a thing now. $18 an hour in Las Vegas. It's not bad. The way it works is you tell TaskRabbit exactly what you'd like to do, you set your hourly rate, and you can even tell it a minimum time commitment so you're not driving halfway across town for $20. I hired an electrician, for example, and he was charging $50 per hour, but he also had a two hour minimum. Now, it will then send you notifications about gigs in your area. You can choose exactly which ones you want, and the client will then tell you when you should arrive and the scope of work. And That's pretty cool, anyone can do that. I I mean, it might just be worth signing up for that. If you want to make a little extra money on the side, you can just pick when you want to do a job. That's pretty cool. Once the gig is complete, you can submit an invoice and you get paid directly through the app. The average worker can expect to make $48 per hour, which is about $100,000 per year in annual income. And if you can make this your full-time job, which is a lot easier. I have a friend that actually does that as a full-time job in New York, so it's, it can be done. To do if you have a special skill, like you're a handyman or you're good with electrical work, then you can make some serious dough. The only downside though is TaskRabbit does charge a 15% percent commission, but it's all worth it if you want to make some extra money. Side hustle number four, start using AI to generate money. The best example is chat GPT. If you go to chat, everyone's talking about chat GPT to make money. I'm, what's he going to say? Like everyone has different ideas of making money with it, but I yet to see like a really great one. At.open.ai, it's completely free. It's a chat style AI based language model that is limitless in the amount of things you can do with it. Now you can create an infinite amount of content, especially if you pair it with platforms like Fiverr, where you can offer services like writing entire books for people, writing articles, blogs, movie scripts, social media posts, emails, ad copy for products. You can use it to create art like songs and poems. Now also part of AI, don't forget to check out Stable Diffusion. If you go to stablediffusionweb.com, you can can tell it exactly what image you want it to create and it'll do that for free. Like, there's, there's some really cool image apps out there now. Like there's tons of them coming out. Like this adorable chocolate eating ferret. Come on, how can you say no to this face? Smash the like button for this ferret because ferrets are not allowed to eat chocolate. Regardless of what anyone says, I doubt you'll be able to sell these images as artwork because everyone is trying to do that. So instead, go a step further and use the images in conjunction with a book, which you can also use ChatGPT to help you write. Where was this stuff when I was in school? Next up, 
side hustle number five is to start selling and flipping your stuff. My favorite place to do this is on the face. Yeah. That people always have that one as a side hustle and it's just that there gets a point when you run out of stuff so unless you're like buying new stuff all the time you run out Facebook marketplace if you type in free stuff in the search bar you'll see all the free stuff that people are just giving away in your area and already in my area I could see there's a beautifully restored piano that why are they giving away a piano why I guess you could take it and sell it. I can just pick up, clean up, take better pictures of, and sell for probably a couple hundred dollars right away. I'm also seriously thinking of giving away my 48-inch built-in fridge that's just been sitting there in my garage for over a year now. Why doesn't you sell it? Now, this is a thing that I bought on eBay, like an idiot, thinking that I could just save some money during the remodel. But a remodel took way longer than expected, and by the time the appliances went in, because they go in last, it was way out of warranty, and I found out that it doesn't cool properly. It can be fixed, but I just don't have the expertise or the time okay, to do it. Bro. And it's a $10,000 built-in fridge from Monogram. One of the dumbest things I ever did, among many. Now, if you're in Vegas, let me know and maybe we can arrange for you to pick it up. Or if you're really nice, help me fix it. But either way, just be careful of all the scams on Facebook because there's a ton of them. Like this free $20 bill, which is apparently easy money and definitely not a scam because it says mm -hmm. so right here. Now, if you can't find something for free in your area, just go to one of the many garage sales and see what you can find. And sure, most of the stuff is not going to be very valuable, but occasionally you'll run into an opportunity. And it sounds like something would, you'd have to definitely be monitoring it all the time and, and make sure that if right when it goes live, something that you could sell, that you get in there and you contact them instantly because I bet there's other people doing the same thing. My favorite side hustle of all time is online tutoring and the best platform to do this. In I've done that. I've tutored online and made few hundred dollars, I think. My opinion is YouTube. YouTube has over 2 billion monthly active users that consume an average of 40 minutes per day when they come here, which adds up to billions of hours per day. YouTube also has over 5 million advertisers that span across 90 countries and 80 languages. YouTube has something for everyone. Chances are, if you have a hobby, there is someone out there on YouTube that's making money from it right now. And you don't have to be the smartest person in the room to teach it. You just have to be passionate about it. And I'm a great example of this. I started a finance channel in 2009. 19 after almost 10 years of working at a magic startup company as a video editor and I thought no one would ever watch my YouTube videos Why would they I have no right talking about this stuff? I'm not licensed. I didn't have a career in finance So why would anyone care but I knew that I was always passionate about personal finance and frugal living and the fire movement and dividends And I loved magic and cardistry and cinematography and storytelling and I thought I was too late but in my first year in 2019, I got to 300,000 subscribers. I made a little over $200,000. My second year, I got to a million subscribers and made $1.8 million. It's crazy. My third year, I got to 1.7 million subscribers and made $3.6 million. It's been a crazy ride and I've made detailed videos of all of that. But you know what the most important thing is I've learned throughout the different careers and the decades of making and watching content is? No one is an expert at anything ever. I agree. We all play pretend including teachers, doctors, lawyers, nurses, performers, journalists, doesn't matter. We are all students of life, hoping that we're just good enough to get by without being called out for all the things we don't know about the things we love doing. I've never considered myself an expert at anything I've ever done, no matter how long I've done it for or how good I've become. That's because I know there will always be someone who works harder, who is more talented, who is smarter, who's better looking, who's wealthier than me. But none of that matters. Because you could still be an expert, though. You could still be much like in the one percentile of, of the top. Uh, and sure, there might be people that are bet like better than you or smarter than you, but you're a lot more educated than a lot of people. Because you have your own style and your own voice, and you appeal to a group of people that that person will never reach. That's your strength. So the hardest thing about starting this side hustle is to get over yourself. But if you can. It's gonna be one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do. So what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below if there's any of these side hustles that you think you could do and why. If you've done any of them already and you've made some money with them, please let me know, even if you didn't make any money. I'd love to hear about your experience with it. It helps everyone uh, that's watching these videos. Uh, also, make sure you like this video. It really does help out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you again in my next video. Thanks.